Hey, Stephanie Presley here. I'm going to show you how to make this omelet in the rectangular steamer. So first you're going to crack your egg and beat it and put it in the rectangular steamer. I am using a duck egg and my son cannot tolerate hen eggs. I was making this for him when he came home for a visit. So instead of using two chicken eggs, I used one duck egg because duck eggs are a little bit larger. Typically you're supposed to baste the rectangular steamer with a little bit of oil for an omelet. I completely spaced it. You will notice at the end when I go to pull it out, there is a little bit of the egg that sticks in the corner. If you baste it, that will not happen. So just going ahead to beat the egg, toss it on in there, and whatever toppings you want, that's all you need to put in there. This is such an easy thing to do. Very often we say, oh, I don't have time to make an omelet. I don't have time to make an omelet. But it's so easy to do and so many ideas for recipes in this raw to ready cookbook only 10 bucks and it has rectangular steamer ideas for omelets for frittatas and i'm just going to pop mine in the microwave for two and a half minutes the recipe i believe calls for three minutes but you really kind of have to play around with your microwave i'm using the prep pro paring knife to cut my spinach it is a ceramic knife that I don't know how I lived without. I have two of them now, and I'm thinking about a third, <laughs> quite honestly. And then I'm just gonna put some poco picante seasoning on top of this. We usually keep poco picante in the fridge, and I can freshen it up with more tomatoes and a little cilantro. We had this, I think, from the night before because we had tacos. So just sprinkling it on there. The seasoning's already there. It adds a really good amount of kick. I like spicy. Um, I know that uh, my daughter was on the other side of me making a Greek omelet at the time that I was preparing this one. So she had the measuring spoons. So typically you just want to put one teaspoon of seasoning on your omelet. And you can do halvesies. You can do a quarter or four different seasonings. CCB with a little bit of three onion dip seasoning is amazing. I'm just using the Asian stir fry seasoning for this one. So it's Asian with a little bit of tomato and, and uh, spinach going on. And you can see here after two and a half minutes in the microwave comes out perfect. Using the corner spatula to just cut it in half. You can eat half, share some with a family member, have it all for yourself, whatever you'd like to do. If you like cheese on your omelet, go ahead and put that in at the same time when you're cooking it. Comes out delicious. There is no reason to not have omelet day. Thanks so much for spending your time with me to learn a little more about the rectangular steamer. Make it an epic day. Bye.